What is a hemoglobin A1C? I've got diabetes, why does my doctor want that test? It's a great test. We used to get a blood sugar, a simple blood sugar, and it would tell us what was going on. But a lot of times the patients would be sneaky. Right before they went to see the doctor, they'd really watch what they ate, and then they would come in and their blood sugar would be pretty good. The hemoglobin A1C is blood sugar that attaches on to hemoglobin, which is in the red blood cells that we have. And if the blood sugar over a three month period of time is averaging high, it will show up high on that hemoglobin A1C. So there's two ways we use that. Number one, it's now will help us with the diagnosis of diabetes. If it's higher than seven, just routine, come in, instead of get a fasting blood sugar. Now fasting blood sugar over 126 means that you've got diabetes, especially on two occasions. But a hemoglobin A1C, if it's greater than seven, it's a picture like you were taking your blood sugar every day for three months. And the chances are that you've got diabetes there. Now, once you have diabetes, we try and keep it under control because if we don't keep the diabetes under control, it causes small blood, fish, blood vessel damage. And so it's the most common cause of blindness because the blood vessels don't nourish the eye. It's the most common cause of amputation because the blood vessels don't nourish the lower extremity. We can get coronary artery disease and hardening of the arteries and angina and heart attacks much more common in diabetes. Our blood pressure can go up if we get that blood sugar out of control. So your doctor will regularly get your hemoglobin A1C if you've got diabetes, and he's, want to, he's gonna want it to be below six and a half or six. Now, if we're just getting it routinely, we really want it between four and five. So, what does hemoglobin A1C do? Tells the doctor what your blood sugar has been on an average of over three months, will help him take good care of you, will help control your blood sugar and diabetes, and will make sure that you're not developing diabetes. Know what your hemoglobin A1C is. It should be below six.